Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today we have a TV box that has Downlogic S912, 3GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage and it's running Android 7.1.1. This is called the M8 S Pro and of course you can find some links in the video's description. Let's start with a very quick unboxing. So the M8 S Pro comes in a very generic box and on the back of the box we can see some specifications. Inside you're gonna find the device itself, this is made out of plastic entirely and I have to say that it feels quite cheap. Aside from that we're gonna find the remote control, this is the exact same remote control that we've seen in the past and I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a much better experience. Aside from that you're gonna find an HDMI cable, there is also a power adapter and lastly the user manual. The user manual is in English and it's got some instructions and pictures. Taking a closer look at the device itself, on the left hand side we are going to find two USB ports and a slot for an SD card and since this device has Android 7 you can always install an SD card as internal storage. And speaking about the internal storage out of that 16 gigs that we get with this device we have about 11 left but the speeds that I got for the internal storage are quite low. And lastly on the back we have the port for the power adapter, we have the HDMI out, the network adapter port and the AV out. I've also tried DTS sound and Dolby Digital sound while using Kodi 17 that comes pre-installed with this device and they both work very well. As for connectivity we have dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and I'm very happy to say that the speeds that I got over Wi-Fi are extremely good and among the best that I've seen for any TV box. And since Miracast is also related to the Wi-Fi connectivity I was able to mirror my phone screen onto this device and it does seem to work very good as well. As for performance on the Antutu benchmark, the Geekbench 4 and the iStorm Extreme we don't get the highest scores that I've seen and that may have to do with the fact that the internal storage um, speeds are quite low. So yeah definitely not the best speeds that I've seen here on the channel. Unfortunately we don't get root access from the factory and based on the digital rights management information that we get we are not gonna be able to watch Netflix in HD. For online streaming apps I tried the YouTube app, this is the app that comes pre-installed with the device and the maximum resolution at least for my TV was 1080p, however all the videos that I tried watching at 1080p work extremely smooth. As for Kodi, this device comes pre-installed with Kodi 17, however this is not called Kodi, it's called the TV Center, so keep that in mind, it's not called Kodi. However, uh, Kodi comes pre-installed with some add-ons, not that many and most of them don't work, but that's quite normal uh, with these TV boxes. However, the streams that uh, do work, work okay without any issues and keep in mind that Kodi works great on most TV boxes, no matter of the specs. And lastly for gaming I played GTA San Andreas at the maximum settings and I'm just gonna let you guys um, watch for a few seconds however it does seem to work um, quite good without any issues. And now that you've seen how this looks and you have a better idea about its performance, I'm gonna start recording the screen so I can show you how this would perform for day-to-day -day tasks. First of all the launcher, so this is not the greatest launcher out there and we've seen this for past TV boxes, but it is extremely boring and I do recommend that you actually change this. Now the downside to this is the fact that we don't have the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and there is no way of actually bringing that up. Strangely enough we have the navigation tab on top so we can see whatever notifications we have but uh, no navigation bar so yeah that kind of sucks. For apps we do get some apps that come pre-installed so we get this TV center this is basically Kodi here we have the play store we have the settings uh, app right there. Uh, we even get the YouTube app, so this one is the one that comes pre-installed. We have Miracast right here, um, an update app, however there are no updates at this time. And um, I believe we also get the MX Player. The settings app also looks a bit different than what we've seen in the past. So here at Network you can connect to the Wi-Fi or um, through a cable, it really depends on your setup at home. At Sounds um, you can change digital sound, so if you have... Um, a movie that has DTS sound or something like that, um, that's uh, where you would go. A display here we can change um, the screen resolution, so the screen resolution at this time it's 1080p for my TV, but this could be different for your uh, TV. So moving back uh, once again, so let me go back to the settings app, and if we go to about here we can see the model name, so the M8S Pro, the Android version which is Android 7.1.1 
and uh, that's about it for the settings app again uh, we can go to more settings and this looks um, again a bit different and uh, looks like something that you would see on a tv and i just want to show you the languages um, quickly so let me go back uh, here once again and let's find the languages here so like most uh, most of these android tv boxes we do have a lot of uh, languages available and hopefully you can see the one uh, that you may be interested in so definitely a lot of languages uh, out here next i want to check out some video files that i have on my um, usb stick so we're gonna start with the first one uh, here and uh, as i mentioned before uh, this is kodi 17.1 i'm just gonna skip forward a bit and as you can probably tell uh, it does seem to work um, quite good so we're gonna stop this one and we're gonna move to the next one so let me go back this is the next one right here and i've seen this, this one before so it does uh, work good so uh, i'm gonna stop this one and move to the following one so the next one it's a 4k file at 59 frames per second so let's see how well this one does and uh, quite good i have to say let's see what happens if i skip forward a bit I'm quite fast uh, to skip forward so very very good uh, for this 4k file the next one it's gonna be this 4k file at 50 frames per second so a bit slow at the beginning there but let's skip forward and see what happens if we skip forward and again um, this one also seems to work um, extremely good as well so i'm very happy to see that we'll stop this one and we'll move to the next file which is a 720p file and again i'm just gonna skip uh, forward somewhere around here so as you can probably tell it's very very quick to like skip forward there is no buffering or anything so i'm quite um, quite happy to see that so we'll stop this one as well the next one needs this one that's uh, super strange so i'll skip uh, to the end here uh, once again and as you can probably tell this one also does uh, quite well so we'll stop this one we'll move to the next one this is the next one here and again i'll uh, just skip forward a bit so there was some buffering uh, here if you noticed but it does seem to go um, quite smooth as well so we'll stop this one as well what else do we have here we have another 4k file at uh, 24 frames per second i believe so this one also does uh, quite good as well so we'll stop this one we'll move to the next one and i'm pretty sure that this one is not gonna work so we're just uh, seeing a green screen so we'll stop this one and the last one that i'm gonna try it's uh, this file right here and again we'll just uh, skip forward and it does seem to do extremely good as well so basically all the files that we tried except for this one uh, worked extremely well i played with a few apps including the google play store chrome and i haven't had any issues with any apps and all of them seem to work um, quite fast so pretty much all the apps that uh, you're gonna try on this uh, device uh, it will be okay unfortunately we cannot multitask with it because we don't have that um, navigation bar but uh, if we would uh, be able to multitask uh, it would be much much better so all the apps that i tried uh, work uh, pretty good and uh, no apps have crashed and it's time to conclude this video so aside from not having that navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and the very low speeds that i got for the internal storage the tv box seems to work okay I wish to have had the way to actually do some multitasking because the way it's set up you can't really do any multitasking. But aside from that the TV box does seem to work um, good and hopefully it will get some updates to fix those issues. Alright guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like it press that like button don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.